So the UFC is back in Sacramento, California this Saturday for UFC on ESPN Plus 13. And with that in mind, it's only fitting that this is where a 40-year-old Uriah, the California kid, Faber, would go for a random comeback for one last trip into the cage. And... He doesn't have an easy outing by doing this. He was retired. He has a great, you know, legacy. I mean, he was a dominant champion in the WEC. He was really one of the first marketable, well-known fighters at the smaller weight classes. At both featherweight and bantamweight, he's one of the best to never win UFC gold, I'd say. Um, But he's coming out of retirement at a random moment, 40 years old fighting in his home state, in his home city. And he doesn't have an easy go about it. He's going against Ricky Simone, who's 3-0 and in the UFC. He's 26 years old, 15-1 and overall. And he's a very gritty, heavy fighter. And good wrestler, scrappy guy. He just beat Ronnie Yaya, so he can compete on the ground. Stuffed a lot of takedowns in that fight. So Faber is going to have the experience. I'm sure he's going to be in shape. I'm sure he can still fight, but he's got a very tough fight this weekend. But Henry Cejudo coming out, naming Cruz, Faber, and Garbrandt as three potential matchups for him. I think that's a little too much. I I look at this as Faber hopefully maybe getting one one more good performance in his hometown, in his home state, and walking away into into the limelight of retirement and into the sunshine of retirement and enjoying his life. I don't want to see him go out poorly. So I'm rooting for I'm real rooting for Uriah this weekend. But um I hope this is this is it when he's done. I hope he can get through this and then hangs it up.